Hello and welcome. Thank you for taking a minute to watch this video. My name is Jimmy Jays and in this video I'm going to share with you why it's so important to play the cash flow game on a consistent basis and I'm also going to share with you my five big takeaways that helped me become a successful entrepreneur of lessons that I learned playing the cash flow game. So stick around, we're going to go through them right now. Like I said, my name is Jimmy Jays. I am the creator and founder of Cashflow Tips. I'm an entrepreneur and investor, and I've played the cashflow game now well over 500 times. And the lessons that I've learned and the habits I've created in the game have helped me create a significant amount of success in the real world. Uh, in fact, when I was 21 years old, I read the Rich Dad Poor Dad book. By the time I was 22, I played cashflow for the first time, and at 23, was able to have enough passive income from investments to be able to exit the rat race. Uh, five years later, I had created a business that that did more than $7 million a year in revenue uh, and allowed me to have you know, my dream square of being able to be a full-time stay-at-home husband and father. And I can't track all of my success back, certainly, to just playing a game, but what I can tell you is almost all of my success I can track back to having a hard work ethic and to five lessons that I learned playing the cash flow game. And I'm going to go through those with you right now. The first one was language. I had to learn literally a new language. The rich have their own language. And I had to learn what was an income statement and a balance sheet and a statement of cash flow. I had no idea what an ROI meant. So I had to learn a new language, almost like if I was going to school to be a doctor or a lawyer or to be a chef, that I'd have to learn the language of those industries. The same is true of being rich. If you want to be in real estate or in the stock market, you have to learn the language of the rich. And the best way for you to do that is to play the cash flow game over and over. The second thing I got was uh, perspective of money. See, when you play the cash flow game, really you're simulating five or ten years inside of just a couple of hours. And so what I got to see was where my money was going and where I was going to be financially in 10 years from now, based on the path that I was on, where I was going to be. And then I got to, through trial and error, you know, playing the game over and over and over, get to try different things with money, and I started to train my brain differently. I started to train my brain to not look at the cost, but to instead look at the return on investment, what I was getting back out of it. And, and I started to translate that into real life by creating my own income statement and balance sheet in real life, and starting to do some things like that where I was watching my money and I was watching where it was flowing. The third one is time, or perspective of time. And when I first read Rich Dad Poor Dad and I first played the cash flow game, I did not have any time. I was working 14 hours a day, working two different jobs, I was paying back some student loans and trying to save up money to be able to put down as a down payment on a rental property. I did not have time. In fact, uh, the only time I got to read any of his books uh, was on my lunch break. I would pack lunch with me and I would read on my lunch break. So I did not have time. And as I started to uh, eventually play the cash flow game, what I started to learn was that the rich look at time almost the same way they look at money. The rich look at time as a commodity. In fact, they look at it as their most precious commodity because it's the only one you can never get back. If you lose money, you can always make more, but you can never get time back. So the rich look at time just as a commodity. And so the rich actually don't look at how much time is this going to cost me. The rich look at what is their return on investment on their time. So how do you get a return on investment on your time? Well, it's easy. Any time that you spend now that's going to get you back more time later is a return on investment. And so once I realized that, once I played the cash flow game, what I realized was that in a two or three hour time period, I could play the game and I could simulate 10 years worth of my life. I could simulate a 10 year path in just two or three hours. Now it's not the same as 10 years worth of experience, but it is the same as 10 years worth of perspective to see where you're going to be based on the path that you're on. And so when I looked at that, I thought, man, you know, would I or would you, would you trade two or three hours to get 10 years worth of perspective? Of course you would. And so that is why I believe that as an entrepreneur or as somebody that wants to be an investor, the cash flow game is the absolute best use of time that you could spend, the best two or three hours that you could spend, and I recommend that you do it every single week. Number four is network. And Robert Kiyosaki in his book says that your income is going to be the average of the six people you spend the most amount of time with. 
And when I read that, that absolutely blew my mind. So when I understood that, I really understood that I need to really manage who I'm spending my time with. And the cash flow game is one of the best ways to grow and expand your network because you get to spend two or three hours with other people that are entrepreneurs, with other people that are like-minded. And not only do you get to spend time with those people, but you actually get to see their habits. You can actually watch how they live real life by just watching how they play the game, watching what habits they have. And you can find out a lot about somebody just by watching the habits that come out when they play the game. So one of the best ways that I know of to increase your network, one of the things that helped me get out of the rat race in real life, were the relationships I created getting out there and playing the cash flow game. And the fifth one is habits. Habits make people poor, habits make people rich. And I heard a quote actually by Samuel Johnson, and the quote was, it is more important to be reminded than to be taught. It's more important to be reminded than to be taught. And playing the cash flow game just allowed me to take this lessons that I learned or the things I learned in the game and apply it in a way where I was going to retain a lot more, where I was going to remember a lot more. You see, because it's not, it's one thing to know something, it's another thing to have it a habit. It's another thing where it's at a point where it's almost subconscious to you, and once you're at that habit level, then you can make decisions extremely quickly. And when it comes to being rich, when it comes to you know a great real estate deal, you don't have three or four days to think it over. You don't have a day to think it over. You need to be able to make a snap to judgment, a snap decision, and that all comes down to your habits and to how well that you know everything that we just talked about. So the more that you can play the game, the more that you can develop this from something that you know into something that's a habit, the faster you'll be able to make decisions. And if you're gonna be an entrepreneur, you need to know how to think quickly, how to make decisions quickly, and how to act quickly. So those are the five things that I learned playing the cash flow game that helped me get out of the rat race in real life. And here is my challenge to you. My challenge to you is to play the cash flow game once a week for the next 12 weeks. For the next 90 days, I want you to play cash flow once a week. And to help you do that, I'm going to send you a tip every single week that's going to help you be able to get better at the cash flow game to get to a point where you can get out of the rat race in 45 minutes every single time. Why 45 minutes? Why does that matter? Well. Couple reasons. First of all, it's just cool. It's just fun to be the first person who's always out of the rat race. It's fun when you go to a game, you're always the person who gets out first and everyone's asking you how you did it. But number two and more importantly is, remember I said before, when you're playing a game, you're simulating 10 years. So if you can get out of the rat race in half of the time you know, in a game, sure, it only saves you an hour, but in real life, that's the equivalent of five years. So if you can learn the habits and the skill sets to be able to get out faster in the game, you're gonna get out way faster in real life. So that is my challenge to you. So make a commitment, put it in your calendar, play this game once a week, and I'm gonna help you out by sending you a single tip every single week for you to be able to play the game. And I want you to comment below. Uh, as you see the different videos, leave a comment, let me know if you're getting out of the rat race, if you're having a trouble, uh, you know, let me know that too. And if you get out of the rat race in 45 minutes, Write it down there and go crazy because we all want to celebrate your win.